welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You are inside the Stitchery. First of all, hi. I'm so glad to have you. I hope you come back. Um, I'm Shannon. I'm a Spoonie, somebody who lives with chronic illnesses. And I love to crochet and just try and make my life better through yarn. So um, if you want to join me on this crazy ride, then maybe subscribe. It could be fun. And um, it does help me if you hit the like button if you like this video. And of course, leave a comment. I love to know what you guys think about all these videos. And so don't be shy. Even if it's just a little heart, I would love to know you were you were here. <laughs> this is part one of the Wicked Diaries. If you have no interest in Wicked or anything that I'm making that has to do with Wicked, I'll see you in another video. It's okay. Um, I had to completely redo my intro that I already made for this video because tech issues. Yay! Life. Anyway. <clears throat> If you have no idea what Wicked is, Wicked is the story of the Witches of Oz. We will talk more about that in a moment, but I wanted to show you something. I have waited so long for this book, but my mother got me this book. <laughs> this is The Grimmery. Now in the play, The Grimmery is the spell book, which is why this looks like an old beaten up spell book. But this version is the entire story of how the 1939 movie inspired a young writer, Gregory Maguire, to write the backstory of The Witches of Oz, which became a book, the Wicked novel, which inspired Winnie Holtzman and Stephen Schwartz to make the musical Wicked and how it came on the stage and how it became such a phenomenon. So that's what this book is. And um, I may pop up a few pictures here and there from this book, but I'm so happy I have it because it has glorious photos of costumes. So um, I am making, if you didn't know, I'm making the Broadway bears of Glinda. and Alphaba. So, I'm very excited about it. Hi, voiceover Shannon here. If you're new, a Broadway bear is my creation loosely based on Build-A-Bear. And Build-A-Bears sometimes have bears that are made off of movies, TV shows, that kind of thing, but nothing with Broadway. So I decided to bring the Broadway costumes to life in a very cute, teddy bear kind of fashion. So that's what a Broadway bear is. I've made a couple of videos. I will link them down below if you'd like to see what they're all about. I will tell you more in just a moment and I will be wearing a completely different outfit. But, <laughs> but I wanted to uh, redo my intro because my <sighs> tech, y'all tech. Anyway, so this little mini series is part of Wicked Wednesdays, although Wicked Wednesdays may have nothing to do with crochet. It won't always be a Wicked Diaries. You'll know when it's a Wicked, it'll literally be called Wicked Diaries. So you'll know. But this is all about the creation of my Broadway bears because it will take a long time to make these. So I thought, why not document it and take you guys with me? I thought that'd be kind of fun. You get to see my sketches Please don't make fun of my art. Yeah, I, I try, okay? It makes sense to me. So as long as I know what I'm drawing, it's all good. But um, how I break down, how I plan out everything, how I think I'm going to, I actually am changing my design for my Broadway bears just a smidge to accommodate a couple things that I wanna add. They will have accessories. I want to make the broom. I want to make the hat. I want to make the wand and I want to make her tiara. Um, may or may not be crocheted because I want it to sparkle. You know, I'm not worried about any children playing with these. So if I have some fragile pieces or whatever, maybe made with wire and, you know, glue that may or may not hold that kind of thing, I'm not worried about it because they're mostly just going to sit and look pretty. So that's basically what this series is. It's just the process of making my Broadway bears. So if you're interested, keep watching. This is Wicked Wednesday. Woo! So um, this is a little mini series that I am putting together. You can watch the whole playlist once it's all together. And this is a little mini series all about my love of Wicked. 
So um, there should have been a video before this. Hopefully I will put that out before this, but it's why I love Wicked so much. And then maybe my videos will make more sense um, why I'm spending so much time on this. But it is the 21st anniversary of the musical this year. Not only that, but the story where the character is originally came from, The Wizard of Oz, is 85 this year. <sighs> wow. And then of course the Wicked movie is coming out the first part is coming out at the end of November. And if you're a Wicked fan like me, you've been waiting years for this to happen. So in honor of the Wicked film, I am doing more Broadway bears as Elphaba and Glinda. If you have not seen this one, this one is my phantom bear. I have a video all about him. I will link it down below and you can watch his little story. But um, he is my typical Broadway bear base. If you saw my floor, I almost made this the thumbnail because I thought you guys would think this is a yarn haul. Um, it is not a yarn haul video, but it sure would look like one because I'm using so many different yarns. Okay, so the original novel, The Wizard of Oz, um, has a huge cult following. And then of course the film starring Judy Garland in 1939, one of the golden age musicals, that came out and that has a whole cult following but wicked does too so wicked is the story of the witches of oz here is a photo how glinda the good became glinda the good and how Elphaba became the wicked witch of the west also tiny spoiler but not really how we got the wicked witch of the east you know the one dorothy drops the house on that's a good, that's a really fun part of the musical. Anyway, their iconic, most iconic outfits are what they call the Wicked Witch dress and the bubble dress. And I am crazy enough to want to do both. Yeah. So this is kind of a little vlog of my process, how I'm doing this. This is not the entire thing. This is basically just yarn selection and my plan and uh yeah so grab a crochet project grab something to drink and um, i will explain the craziness that is on my floor the groomery this is the book that tells you all the behind the scenes all about how they started making this musical and how basically the origin story of the musical and susan hilferty is one of the greatest costume designers for the stage i have ever seen oh my gosh I don't know how she made these costumes and how she made them functional. Like, you know, these girls have to fly at some point. Amazing. Anyway, these are the two most iconic outfits in the show. The bubble dress and the Wicked Witch of the West dress. This is not the best photo, but this is the one I've got. As you can see, there's lots of layers to both of them. Now, I'm going to pop up pictures from the internet while I talk about things so that you can see behind the scenes photos of when they really took good pictures of the dress and you can see what I'm talking about. I'm also really excited to do it this year because, so if you don't know, my Broadway bears were based on um, kind of like Build-A-Bear. So like they're kind of Build-A-Bear sized and I did want to dress them up. And um, I mean, I, I my goal was to eventually make one that has multiple outfits <laughs> from the show. And um, yeah, so I'm very curious to see, they have to, they have to. I'm hoping Build-A-Bear makes Elphaba and Glinda. And I'm very curious to see who did it better. <laughs> I mean, I know there's going to be people with like sewing machines and, you know, all kinds of people who are going to do cosplays and stuff and theirs is going to look so much better than mine. But I am kind of curious to compare it to whatever um, Build-A-Bear wants to do for them, if they do anything, which if they miss this opportunity, mm, come on, come on guys. And they should have Wizard of Oz too. I think there should be Wizard of Oz costumes for Build-A-Bear for this year. 85 years? Come on, you gotta do something. You gotta do something. Um, American Girl already made the iconic outfits for their American Girl dolls, which I wish I could afford, honestly. I do have an American Girl doll. Um, and I love making um, Pamela's adoring crochet. I love making her, her doll clothes for um, my friend's little girls. But yeah, 
I, I wish I could have the, the American Girl doll dresses just for me. <laughs> but anyway. So first of all, we have to have the bears, right? So we have to have the bear, and this just is going to be just my typical Broadway bear pattern. I did tweak the arms just a little bit, and I'm not done. There might be some more tweaking, but for the most part, it's gonna look like Phantom Bear here. So I've got the ears and the muzzle. The muzzle always looks terrible until I stitch on the nose, but just have, have faith. <laughs> and one arm. So, yeah. So this is, the body will be done in Burnett Blanket Brights. And this is the color Go Go Green. So this is the color I'm using. Here, you can see. Oh, I know. I'll show you the ears. So you can see that Phantom Bear get sort of an idea of what I'm going for. See? So I moved to the side a little bit so I can put pictures up here. And so you can see what I'm getting myself into. So we're going to start with Alphaba. And oh my goodness. Um, here's the dress. Yeah. No, I, I, I didn't... I didn't want to do, apparently, I didn't want to do the Ozdust Ballroom or the One Short Day dress. No, no, no. I wanted to challenge myself and do the Wicked Witch of the West dress. Yeah. So as you can see, it's not just black, it has lots of colors in it as well. It's got some purples and some greens and a little bit of red. Um, that red that just goes across the whole dress. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I want to do that somehow. So, yeah. Um, this is kind of fun. You get to see how I kind of brainstorm, I guess. Now, I have got all different kinds of yarns here, all different textures, all different sizes, because I am hoping to create basically what the fabric does in yarn. As you can see, there are ruffles, there are edges, there's lace, there's, oh my gosh, so many different kinds of fabric. So that's what I wanna do with my yarn. So the base of the dress will be Big Twist Twinkle. So it's just going to be a, I'm going to make a basic, just a black dress that I can layer everything on top of. Um, I think that's, probably how you'd do it anyway or some people would probably make the top and then the skirt if you were sewing it and making it for a human i don't know seamstresses in the audience i would love your take on this by the way love it absolutely love it but anyway um yes so i'm just going to make a basic dress form long sleeve for alphaba um which we are calling alpha bear we're going to make a basic dress in this black and yes I bought more because guess what this is what I had to, to start with that was it there's no way this was gonna cover my bear so I bought more <laughs> um, I don't know why any of you would want to do this with me but I will tell you exactly what I'm using if you would like to get this yarn and go on a crazy trip with me okay so this yarn is big twist twinkle and has 380 yards. This does not. <laughs> so I'm hoping 380 plus however much this is, is enough. We'll see. Now, she's also got some green layers. And so I have the Karen Simply Soft Party in the color Dark Sage. And yes, most of this is going to be glitter yarn because on the stage, there you use lots of glitter in the costume so you can see it far away. And um, I felt I should go along with that. I do have some plain ones here to, you know, balance it out, but I have a lot of glitter yarn. Plus, you know me, I love my sparkle yarn, any excuse. So um, maybe you can see in the picture, there are some green 
and pretty close to this green, sparkly layers. So, yeah. And then we also have like a mossy green kind of color. So this is the Juicy Couture Luxe Velour Sparkle. I've done a review on this yarn if you want to go check it out on the channel. And um, this is 107 yards. Oh, I'm sorry. Karen Simply Soft Party is, this is a used skein, but um, normally it's 164. So this one is 107. It's a five weight. Those were four weights. And um, I just love this green. I think this is going to look so good with that, right? I think it looks good. So, um, now, velour yarn tends to do what we call worming, which is where you get these little loops in your yarn and they catch on things and it's not very fun. However, that's exactly what I want it to do for this one. See in this dress, she's got these ruffles and stuff down her skirt. I think we're gonna create some ruffles this way. And if some worming happens, I think it'll actually look pretty good. So, um, yep, I'm hoping to do that. Okay. Also in the same kind of yarn, I've got, this color is called Plonk, P-L-O-N-K. I have no idea what color this yarn is. I can't tell if it's brown, if it's supposed to be purple, or if it's supposed to be a shade of red. I have no idea, but that's okay because this kind of weird color is perfect for this dress. I mean, I, I really think this is gonna look good. I'm probably gonna use this for like an underlayering. So as you can see, there's three or four layers to her bottom skirt. And I think this would look really, really good as one of those under layers where the black lays on top. I think that'll look so good. So what do you think? I think it'll look good. And then of course I got the black in the Juicy Couture velour. A lot of it. <laughs> so that I could have the big ruffles that are in front, all sparkly. And um, they don't call this black though, they call it licorice, so. If you're looking for that color. Now, I also have some scraps here. I have no idea what this yarn is, none. I cannot tell you, but it has all these glittery sparkles in it. It's very similar to another yarn I'll show you in a second, but it's not the same. So this is my little scrap. This is the Mary Maxim Starlet in the color black. Okay. Look at that. Wow, right? That's going to show up from far away. As you can see, this is not the same yarn. It does not have the wah factor that this does. But this, this does not have what this does. There we go. But I think they'll look good together. And I have a little bit of it left and I'd like to use it up. We also have some purple in here. And so I have this one. This is the Yarn B Velvety Smooth Sparkle in purple, 161 yards. I think this is a four, considered a four. Yeah, it's considered a four. Kind of a thick four, but it's considered a four. And then to pair with that, I've got the Just Chenille from the Dollar Tree in black. So that's gonna go probably, I'm trying to remember the picture. What you're seeing, I am trying to think of in my head. I think there's like a collar close to her neck. And I thought these two colors would look really good next to her skin. This is her skin. Maybe, I can always change my mind. Now. She does have this sleeve that does this on this side, and we're gonna make that fur. This is the Go For Faux Sparkle from Lion Brand in Galaxy. Now this technically is blue, but I don't think mixed with everything in here, it'll really stand out except for the texture, which is what I want. I think this is going to be a cool sleeve. I'm very excited for this. So I hope it works out. Okay. And because we have that red running through, I have the Velvety Smooth Sparkle in red as well. 
So that's going to be our little stripe that goes through, which I'm hoping I can pull off. So my thinking is that I will make kind of a, a ridge that kind of goes down the whole dress and wraps around, and I will attach this to the very edge or underneath it so that it'll just kind of peek out and it'll just be that strip running through. I don't know, I, I think that'll be cool. Okay, so we have Glinda here, which actually at first, did you know her name was actually Galinda? Hmm. Yeah, so this is the lovely Kristen Chenoweth. She was the very first one. And this is the bubble dress. Now there's no way I can hang the, I can hold this up for the entire video, so picture. Okay, but at least this time I have something to look at. <laughs> so first we have to start with Glinda herself. So she's going to be a pink bear because green and pinks are like their signature colors, even though they wear blue and black. Don't think too much about it. Anyway, um, I had this color of burnout yarn. I had a burnout blanket in pink dust and I thought it was perfect until I put it with my blue yarn. Mm -mm. No, it's way too, too much on the mauve side. So, nope. Got a lighter shade. This is called Blush Pink. There we go. So, this is a Blush Pink. And um, something fun I'm really hoping I can pull off. Not 100% sure I can. I got this really fun yarn with a um, Michael's Rewards. Um, if you earn enough points, they give you like Michael's cash basically. And I got some and so I bought a yarn I never would try. And this is the Loops and Threads Faux Fur Polyester. <laughs> You just want to hold it. You really do. And it comes in three little strands here. And it doesn't really shed because I don't know if I can show you. It's it's like a like a sewn ribbon. That's what the yarn is attached to. So, I want to make her little ears in this. <laughs> I want her to have cute fuzzy little ears. So this this little ear like this. So you know fuzzy little ears. I don't know. It may not work out and I may just have to just make another random pink bear with pink fuzzy tail and pink ears. Just because. <laughs> But anyway, I just love this stuff. It's so soft. I'm really excited to play with it, especially because you kind of technically get more yarn. You can use it as one piece or you can split it into three, which is kind of fun. So a lot of variety there. Anyway, so this is gonna be her base. Um, I couldn't get very much of it, so I am hoping one skein is enough. And I'll be honest, I don't know. I am almost positive that I had only a tiny bit left after making him. Yeah, I don't remember having very much yarn left after making him, but hopefully I have enough. And remember, I changed the arm shape. So I don't know if that took more yarn or less yarn at this point. We shall see. Thankfully for Alphaba, I bought two skeins of the green. So I'm covered there. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for Glen Bear. That's what her name is, Glen Bear. And we shall see. Anyway, her bubble dress. Well, first let's start with her accessories. So as you can see on the screen here, she has this gorgeous tiara. And if you look really closely, her wand and her tiara, they're basically snowflakes. So I'm going to crochet snowflakes for her tiara and her wand. And I've got all kinds of fun yarn to play with here. Um, I have this fun thing that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Look at this. I kind of want to put this at like the edge 
of her headband or something um, just for a little extra sparkle. This is Yarn B Glitz Eyelash Holographics and the color is Diamond. I think that'll be so cute. So to make her wand, I have Red Heart with Love Metallic, 200 yards. This isn't 200 yards, this is a used skein, but it comes with 200 yards and um, it's a four weight yarn and it sparkles because her wand must sparkle. And now for her wand snowflakes and for the snowflakes for her tiara, I have Karen Simply Soft Party in silver sparkle, but look, there's like colored sparkles in there. Now I'm gonna be honest, this isn't enough sparkle for me. This is just not enough sparkle for me. So, you know, that's why we have to have this but even this might not be enough. So um, I may actually grab some sparkly crochet thread and like crochet it in there just for some extra sparkle. Cause look at this picture, these things sparkle, these things shine. So um, yeah. Also, I'm gonna probably use some gems and actually glue them to, to the snowflakes because um, yeah, I don't have a problem using other materials other than yarn. I they're my bears and I want them to look good. Now let's talk about the dress. Okay, so the bubble dress, as you can see, um, there are multiple layers just like Elphaba's dress. So you've got an off the shoulder with puff sleeves and then you've got like a little corset top and then it goes into a, like a diamond shape front and back. And um, then it's got these beautiful little like petals almost so it's like she's got little petals all over her dress and we've got a lot of yarn to do that so first i have to make her ball gown dress form which i am going to try and make um i wanted to use burnett blanket yarn i really wanted something thick and sturdy i could not find a burnett yarn that was anywhere close to what i needed so um, I'm still looking, honestly, I haven't started. I mean, I'm not doing anything till we make the bears, obviously. Bears have to be made first, but um, cause I have to have a body to measure everything too. But I am going to keep looking for another blue yarn to go as the like cage almost, almost, you know, when they used to make, um, dresses way back when in like the 1800s and stuff they basically had like this wire cage that would sit on the body and they would drape the um, layers on top of it the layers of fabric that's kind of what i'm doing i'm going to make kind of a cage but way less gappy um for everything to sit on and then i'm going to make a bunch of these petals in different sizes and um, to make the petals I got, um, I got the big twist posh because it was the right color and I thought it was kind of sturdy. So um, this is my last resort if I cannot find a burnout blanket yarn. But I just made something with this and it's not as sturdy as I was hoping. So yeah, still looking for the burnout yarn. <laughs> I also have the Just Chenille in this um, light blue color. So this is going to be like the layer that the little petals will sit on and um, not the cage, but the fabric that the petals can sit on. And then to make the petals, I have two yarns here. One is that darker outer layer you see, and then one is the inner layer. It doesn't really look shiny on camera oh here we go there we go but they really do light up so anyway this is i bought eight skeins of this and i had two already so 10 skeins of yarn if that is not enough to do this dress i don't know what i'm gonna do but let's hope it is this is the mary maxim starlet sparkle and it is i just saw the yardage here it is 196 yards and it's a four medium worsted weight yarn. This is a big twist twinkle in 380 yards in the color light blue. So let's hope that's enough yarn. 
I really don't have a backup plan. I'm also, as you can see, her dress is covered in sequins. And um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy sequins and I'm gonna stitch them on the dress or glue them on the dress. <laughs> We'll, we'll see but yeah I really love especially this one where it's like a little triangle in the front yep I I want that now for the petals um I may not do it that way I probably won't do it that way um yeah in all honesty I probably won't do it that way but I'm definitely going to put some on the edge of her sleeves and um, across that little middle piece and maybe down where the diamond starts. Um, I mean, I'll use my, my photos for reference and stuff like that, but yeah, so that is my plan. Oh, okay, so hair. Will I give them hair? Yes, I will give them hair. I don't know exactly what yarn I wanna use yet, the hardest one will be Glinda's not making it. I, I'm pretty sure I know how to do her little ringlets. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll be okay. But I don't want to do just straight loose yarn for Elphaba's hair. And she does have that really pretty little um, like side, up, up the sides part pulled in the back. And then she does something else. I got lots of pictures of the back of her head. Um, the song, um, As Long As You're Mine, has some really good photos of her hair. So I got, I got some pictures of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that I can figure out how to do hair. Um, I thought Burial's hair looked pretty cute. Here's Burial. I thought Burial's hair looked pretty cute. So I might do something like that for Alphaba. But I'm definitely going to do the cute little ringlets for Glen Bear. Yep, that yarn is definitely not here yet. First of all, you didn't see any kind of yellowish yarn, so yeah. And um, none of those black yarns, I think, would be what I want to use for Alpha Bear. So, yep, still deciding. Still deciding what, what I'm going to do. I might even make them wigs. So, like, they're not actually sewn to the bear's head. Why? because I like the idea of making more costumes from the show. There's so many more costumes I could do. And um, maybe like every October or something for a few years, maybe I'll make a different costume because both girls have at least two or three costumes each. And I could even make Nessa Rose. I, I really wanted to make Nessa Rose this year. There's just no time. I mean, honestly, there's just no time. I have two other Broadway bears that I'm working on for the year. And so at the moment, I am a bear assembly line. Make two ears, make two ears, make two, make two arms, make two arms. You, yeah, I'm a bear assembly line for lots of colors. So um, I'm hoping that you like this little mini series, but I'm also hoping that you like the Broadway bears this year. I do absolutely love Wicked but I don't want to bore you with the Wicked content for those who are not interested. So if you feel like skipping these Wicked Wednesday videos, I understand. Um, these are for kind of people who are kind of geeky like me, but maybe you're watching because you're interested in the costume aspect, which is one of the reasons I love Broadway. Um, maybe you're watching because you want to see, you know, the adorable bears perfect um and you have no interest in wicked but you love crochet and you like the process then you know maybe these videos are for you and if you stayed for five minutes you can't see this part of the video but thank you <laughs> thank you for joining me today i hope you had fun i hope you liked it please leave a comment down below also out of curiosity are you team alphaba or are you team glinda team pink or green leave me a pink or green heart in the comments down below. Even if you're not really picking a team, leave me a pink or green heart so I know you watched all the way to the end. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm super happy you were here. I hope you have a wonderfully wicked Wednesday. And remember, life happens, yarn helps, and spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye. I've barely gotten start, <laughs> bear, barely gotten started. <laughs>